if I was on death row today and I was told I had to defend Silent Hill 2 with my life or I'll be sentenced to the electric chair, I would hit y'all with the greatest I told you so of all time in history. I feel like there weren't a lot of people that were riding with the Silent Hill 2 wave. They were too scared that Bluebird team would botch this and it's kind of understandable because Bluebird doesn't have the best history when it comes to making horror games. But guess what? Today is not the day. I get to tell you I told you so. We got IGN Japan rating Silent Hill 2 a 10 out of 10. Voxel, 10 out of 10. PSX Brazil, 10 out of 10. Serious Gaming, 10 out of 10. CG Magazine, 9 out of 10. The list goes on and on. And then we have those few soy boys that are complaining about the most minuscule things. I mean, you can't please everybody. I like to say that a lot because no matter what you do in life, there's always gonna be somebody to hate. But bro, do you know how good it feels? The fact that everybody just about had something extremely negative to say about the Silent Hill 2 remake, when honestly, it didn't need much improving to make it significantly better. The combat in the original game was horrible. You guys are probably going to hate me for this, but I wasn't too keen on the original voice acting. Now look, while I'm talking my trash, I gotta say this. I still love this game with my heart and soul. I love Silent Hill 1 through 3. They are amazing games. But it just feels so good knowing that they hit the hammer on the nail perfectly because now it's guaranteed that we're gonna get Silent Hill 1 and 3 remade. It just makes sense. Why wouldn't they do it? They see the money they bring it in. Stars. With that comes the question, what will the public's opinion be? I don't know if you guys seen, but far before the game was officially released, even as I'm recording this, people were getting their copies of the game early. I don't know if it was some type of Amazon error or what, but people were getting their PS5 copies extra early. At first we thought it was fake. We thought these leaks weren't real. Up until about the past 24, 48 hours, where people started posting their own personal reviews on Twitter, AKA X, nobody calls it X though. You know why, it, it, X is kinda titled to the gooner side of the internet, which I'm not a part of. Awesome. I screenshotted some of the best ones that appealed to me and we're gonna read them off together. These are 100% real, by the way. I, I don't fake my content. Y'all know I don't milk my content either, nigga. I ain't Mr. Beast. Hopefully I don't butcher his name. Koji Fukuyama wrote in this article, I already mentioned my impressions of the lap play, but let's go back to my impressions when I first cleared it. In addition to the overall completeness of the film's character, story, graphics, sound, and horror elements, I'm frankly surprised at how well it manages to build the uniqueness of the action. In particular, if Konami is willing to continue to remake the Silent Hill series, namely 1, 3, and 4, I think it is appropriate to always refer to the new Silent Hill 2 as the benchmark to evolve from. Dude, that says a lot. You know what I mean? And it brings me to my point that I've said in my one YouTube short. I feel like if Akira Yamaoka and Masahiro Ito didn't like what they were seeing during the development cycle, they would have jumped ship. I still believe that 100%. Now, I don't know these dudes. I don't know their mentalities. But I'm just going based off what I believe. These two love the series with all their hearts, their souls even. So if it was terrible, why would they stick around? That's just my thoughts on that. He also, he also led up with this. I completed the game in 21 hours, but I ended up spending 76 hours, including lap play. For the next 55 hours after the second lap, I was just wandering around Silent Hill in search of the ending that was added in the remake. So therefore, it is confirmed that there is more endings that have been added, which is also a good thing. I mean, we don't want it to just be completely the same. I don't want to get spoiled on anything, though. Don't spoil me in the comments. He also followed up by adding a list of bullet points, strong points and demerits. We'll start off with the strong points. In the strong points he wrote, the direction of the remake respecting the original version. That's a ding. Another ding, high quality cutscenes, which is something we all want. We want that smooth, buttery feeling when we boot up this game on PC or PS5. Uniqueness and completeness of combat design, a holistic horror experience as Silent Hill. Awesome. Now, also to add on, PS5 players will get a slightly more vamped up experience just because they get really immersive controllers. That's pretty damn exciting to have. I wish that was an Xbox trait. Unfortunately, it'll never be that way. We don't get that kind of love from Microsoft, unfortunately. He listed three demerits. Crude motion of some parts, such as when opening a door. 
Now I can't exactly say or put my input on that because I have not played the game myself yet, but we will tomorrow, like I mentioned. Redundancy due to increased volume in some stages. That's also something I can't really put my input on because I haven't played the game myself. It, it wouldn't make sense. And then he said minor bugs, but minor bugs will eventually get ironed out. That's just the way it works. Hopefully, as long he hasn't said it was anything groundbreaking, so I'm still excited at the end of the day. Based off his input, this is IGN Japan's, by the way, also comes with the merit of this was also translated by Google Translator, so it's also a rough idea of what he's trying to say. So yeah, just be wary of that fact. Bro, on Metacritic, it was nothing but ratings over 90. Dude, if that's not a good sign, I really don't know what is. IGN France said, Bluebird Team's remake of Silent Hill 2 manages to modernize the masterpiece while staying true to its psychological and oppressive legacy, a timeless work of art, carefully revisited. That makes it sound like it follows the exact recipe it was supposed to. It just correctly fine-tunes the things that needed to be fixed. But also, with the good, like I said, you can't please everybody. We got a 70th yeah. ranking. But guess what he said? This is Game Reactor UK. It's been a great pleasure for me personally to experience one of the modern classics that are considered seminal to the conventions of the genre. And I have to applaud much of Blue Routine's work here. It doesn't change the fact that there are aspects of Silent Hill 2's foundation that appear slightly shaky to me. And your immersion and enjoyment will be dictated by how forgiving you are of a story that becomes a little too thin as the game progresses. What? Nigga? Weird, buddy. You're weird! As far as I'm concerned, Silent Hill's core storytelling was the few cutscenes we get and a lot of the symbolism that we get as well. You get notes and you get plenty of story if you just pick up items and you read them. There's a lot of under there's a lot of layers beneath the onion. You know what I mean? I just genuinely don't understand this. I'm not gonna think too hard about it. I just think this opinion is damn stupid. He mentions immersion and enjoyment, but he doesn't talk about any of the graphics or how the audio makes you feel in tuned. Every Silent Hill fan knows Silent Hill is just like heavily based off audio engineering. It's not based off jump scares or anything crazy like that. He's not even talking about one of the main core foundations of what makes Silent Hill Silent Hill. A lot of this review is just dumb. I really genuinely don't get it. I just had to add that in there. The next worst review is from gyroonline.pl. I think this is Polish. As a regular representative of the genre of the new Silent Hill 2, it's quite good. You rated to 60 though. And should deliver lots of fun to gamers that like this kind of games. But as a remake of one of the most important horror games in history, this new version looks extremely mediocre. Do I even gotta say it? Hey, just edit, edit, you know what I'm saying? Edit new gameplay footage that shows how mediocre, you know what I'm saying, the game is, of course. You know, all these other opinions don't mean anything. The game is clearly unpolished. The graphics are terrible. I don't understand. I genuinely don't understand. He's making it sound like he booted up fucking Silent Hill 2 on an Atari or something. I'm not getting this opinion. The game looks beautiful. Even if you take the jankiness that they showcased in some of the trailers, that game looks amazing, bro. I don't know, I'm scratching my head at that, bro. Anyways, hopefully I can get this video out as soon as possible. I don't know how soon as possible. Hopefully tomorrow night. And I wanna know what do y'all think about the, the reviews of the people? Are you excited for this game? Let me know something. What else do I gotta say?